everyone. Thank you for tuning in to Cook with April on Tasty Tuesday. Today I'm going to show you how to make something similar to, you know, those Cinnabon cinnamon rolls. Mm. So I don't know what to call it. Cinnabon cinnamon rolls? Cinnabon cinnamon rolls. Yep, so stay tuned. It's so good. Let's begin by placing one cup of warm milk in a bread machine container or in a large bowl. Then crack two eggs. Then add a third cup of melted butter, four cups of bread flour, half a cup of white sugar, and two and a half teaspoons of rapid rise yeast. One packet will do. And then you're just gonna go ahead and set it to the bread machine dough setting. If you don't have one, you can use a stand mixer or a hand mixer and it'll turn out like this. Then you're gonna place your dough in a large bowl, cover it up in plastic wrap, leave it in room temperature and it'll double its size in 30 minutes. In another bowl, place cinnamon and brown sugar together and then you can go ahead and mix those ingredients together with a spoon but I actually prefer to use my hands because packed brown sugar creates these clumps and you want to separate those clumps with your hands. Now that your dough has risen go ahead and place it into a floured clean surface. I like using a pastry mat and then I'm adding a little bit more flour and what I want to do with this dough is to flatten it up. So I'm using a rolling pin and I'm applying pressure to the dough to flatten it up and I'm aiming at 16 by 21 inches. And I like this pastry mat that my husband gave me for Christmas because it has the measurements. Then you're gonna place a half a cup of softened butter. And after that, you're ready to sprinkle your brown sugar cinnamon mixture right on top. And now you're ready to roll. So it should look something like this and now you're ready to cut it up. Instead of using a knife, I like using floss. So I'm acting like I'm tying it and then it separates the dough. So I'm just gonna go ahead and show you one more time. Just act like you're tying it with some floss and it'll cut up the dough perfectly. Better than a knife because it doesn't lose its shape. Butter up a pan. I like using a lasagna pan. It works just as great. And then place your cinnamon dough right inside. And then you're ready to bake at 400 degrees Fahrenheit or 200 degrees Celsius for 15 minutes. And if you want, you can make cream cheese frosting. I have a video all about it. I'll link it below. And then place the cream cheese frosting on top and the frosting will melt in five minutes and enjoy. It's nice and warm and ready to enjoy. You ready to try it? The moment I walked in the door coming home from work, I oh, was just man. like knocked in the face by how delicious this smells. It smells like you're in a cinema. It does. Place, you know how right? they do it like in the, the mall? mall? They like waft the smell so you like have to get it, you know? Yeah. Mmm. Ooh, you closed your eyes. Oh this my god. Like <laughs> okay, first of all. This is like 10 times better than cinnamon. Really? It's so much better than cinnamon. It's really, really moist. The the glaze on it is is just so much better. I mean, it just yeah. tastes, it's like a little lighter, a little sweeter. It, I, I don't even, I can't even believe, I, I mean, this is like a dessert to me. I mean, I know that these are traditionally eaten like for breakfast or something, really? right? But no, that's aren't dessert. They? But that's... this is just like so unbelievably good. I can't even believe that you made this. Thank you. It tastes like something you would buy. I, it's my amazing. My favorite part is the softness in the inside. Oh mm -hmm. my gosh, I could just eat all the insides of them. Don't they sell that at Cinnabon? Like yeah. just the little centers? This yeah. is, this doesn't even, this is so far and above that. Thank you. Here are some friends who tried my previous recipes. Thank you friends so much for watching. We hope you enjoyed and if you make it, please tweet me and I'll feature you. My Twitter handle is AprilAthena7 and we will see you next time. Please remember to subscribe. Bye. Bye. Well, today I'm going to show you how to make cream cheese frosting, which is a delicious frosting for everything. Cookies, cupcakes. The best is when I make it with carrot cake. I do have a recipe.